It started 25 years ago. I was in the right place at the right time and uh, I was given a disassembled pipe organ and uh, hauled it to Nora and laid out all the parts and pieces. Thought, now what do I do with it? In the fall of 1989, Mike Pedersen started to assemble the pipe organ with his friends. One evening uh, I suggested that maybe we hurry up and get it done and they said, well, what's the hurry? We've got all winter. No, I said, we don't. But Pedersen had an idea. I said, I would like to put an ad in the paper and see if anybody would care to come to Nora and Christmas Carol with me. And lo and behold, they did, and still do 25 years later. It's nostalgic, you know, to come back and every year and then see the same faces. Nora, at one time, was quite the bustling little metropolis. Nora Country Christmas is what some people have, you know, the handle they put on it for a while, but uh, I just call it my Nora Christmas Carol celebration. For Pedersen, the biggest thrill is when people have no idea what they're walking into. You think, well, what's this going to be all about, you know? To watch the looks on people's faces when they walk through the door and they go, whoa. <laughs> Some of you will probably have to go back in the back room for a little bit. I tease it's one of the best kept secrets in South Dakota. <laughs> a secret that's kept thousands coming back each year. Well, there's no one to impress here. All you can do is to come and stand next to maybe a total stranger and sing your heart out. I can't put into words when this place fills up with people and my back is to the folks because I play the organ and uh, when I hit those first notes and I hear all that beautiful music, it, it humbles me every time. London Swan, KDLT News, Nora.